RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel Christopher Daniel. The blue. Mick Foley. And you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays and RCW Global Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. One cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up close and personal view. Studio Wrestling. Is back. RCW Rubber City Wrestling presents to you RCW Global. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of RCW Global. I am your role model, Rick Lee, and with me as always, Ricky Williams. Ricky, welcome to another, another exciting week here on RCW Wrestling, as we got Crudo El Macho, who is dumb enough to turn his back to Matt Motor. And he caught it. Well, that was the end. And wow! I don't. I don't. I, don't I think. I, I think we have. What we have here is now the wrestlers are trying to see who could put on the quickest match. And he's saying it wasn't fair. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that was. Um, oh my goodness! Oh good. Now he wants Helena Heathen instead, and now she's gonna pin him as well. One, two. Three. So your winners today, not only Matt Motor but Helena Heathen, um, both members of the way, by the way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And they both put on good match. I think hers might have been faster than his. Anyway, we'll take a commercial break, and when we come back, more RCW Wrestling. Artistic Butterfly is a locally owned shop made up of all handmade crafts and gifts. We have over 30 vendors that hand make their own unique items. Our products are constantly changing. We also provide fun crafts for adult eyes only in our newly opened third room as well as homemade candies and baked goods. And let's not forget a few drawings by your role model Rick Lee. Artistic Butterfly LLC is community based. We do fundraisers for kids with cancer and we also collect non-perishable items for anyone in need. Come see us today at 498 Canton Road, Akron, Ohio 44312 or call us at 234-334-4656. Artistic Butterfly LLC, allowing local artists to spread their wings. fans we are back with rcw global right now we have the latin nightmare josh cortez another member of the way versus mateo blanco of the um el ses uh, los assassinos i am not spanish i don't know you i would not be able to pass uh managed by of course our friend terrence knight Oh yeah, he's, he, he can't go beat. So, Terrence Knight is going to bring somebody in for you to beat that quick and easy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Josh, Josh Cortez is a world heavyweight wrestling champion. And, uh... Is he really out of this? What? Oh, yeah. Oh. 
watching. Oh, it earlier. Ah! Just throws oh. him down like it's nothing. Gosh, he's so powerful. One, two. Oh, there you go. Well, that so wasn't a bad that, match. Huh? Though. Hey, man, keep working. You're winner right that. now. Latin Mayhem Mafia all Cortez. day. Mayhem Mafia. That's right. Going to be the next World Tag Team Champion. If the Top Guns will quit hiding from them. Oh, they're not hiding. Well, we're going to go ahead and take another commercial break. When we come back, more RCW. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you Footsteps and Night Z, Guru Films, is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash gurufilms.420 to purchase DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. All right, we are back with the main event of the evening. Uh, the Paradigm takes on Scott E. Stevens and Jay Akira. All right, uh, this is going to be a good one. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm excited to see how Scotty Stevens does tonight. Uh, I'm not. I am. I care less about Scotty Stevens. What about Mercer, Marcus Knight, and Brennan Martell? Well, like you said before, I'd rather face Marcus Knight. I would rather face Marcus because I know that I can take a lot of pain, and I know that that's all he cares about is inflicting pain. He won't try and win the match. See how he does tonight, though. Here comes Scotty Stevens. Music plays the very, very heavy scene in the back. Oh, that makes one of us. Listen, I would have been very happy to see him yeah, in the back is. had he not attacked me. Wow. He's too afraid of her. Great match. I'm excited. What makes you think that these two are capable of putting on a great match? Well, <laughs> Sorry, Stevens, of course. Man, he will attack you. He's mid, destroying you. He's mid. He's only mid because you're mad because of that one freaking Christmas show where the Grinch, I would just say, attacked you. Yeah, why wouldn't you be mad? You wouldn't be mad if you got attacked by somebody you thought was a threat? That's why I don't know. And, I mean, I get that the main target was Mark Knight, but he's also targeted me, and his excuse was that I didn't call him the year that he was suspended. So I wanted to give him his space. What was I supposed to do? I gave a man his space, and that's my thank you. And, and, and who is this Jay Akira? Somebody you found when he was in RCW jail? Oh, wow. I don't know, I don't know the guy. I've seen him wrestle a few times now here on RCW. He's actually impressed me. But you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it does not. That's a little racist there, Well, I'm just saying, you know, this is You're right, guy. it does sound racist. I can't believe that when I mentioned jail, you instantly a split. Uh, okay, well wow. I feel like you're just part of Wow. I didn't, even, jail. I didn't even notice it was a black man until you brought that up. Wow. Marcus Knight, one of my favorite wrestlers. Oh my gosh. That was a great show. Marcus Knight. What is that goofy um, thing you wearing? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it, it's called a jacket, and everybody wears it. It looks disgusting. What, the helmets? I don't know. That's just... I don't know. I don't get it. Merciless, ah! Maria. Yeah, he's, he's 100% in Merciless. Uh, oh, 
road, should I say. And apparently, I don't know what Brent and Martell, because I'm sure they all have their own names. But it reminds me a little bit of the Joker. Alright, now, here's Scotty and more of us. More, more lean towards a broke back Joker than the other Jokers. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, regardless, I believe that uh, Marcus Knight and I believe Brennan Martell have the huge advantage in this match because the Paradigm is a well-oiled machine as opposed to this new tag team thrown together. I mean, I don't know, maybe these guys have wrestled in other areas together, but I, I know Scott E. Stevens is just a solo wrestler, and Jay Akira, I, I'm not, again, too familiar with him. I've seen, seen how Jay does, and I'm definitely not Scotty Stevens. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, sure is. I, I do expect it to be a good one, all jokes aside. Um, and right now we're going to watch us. Well, this is not a, yeah, um, I would attack Scotty too. You know why? I mean, this is the first ever like, tag team match with RCW. Oh, well, man, I could actually take him down. That is Scotty Stevens. So, see how, see how that goes. Yep. Oh, wait, no. So, we're going to see Bruno Martell. Okay. Now, here's the thing, though. Bruno Martell and Merciless. Um, they both have uh, been together for at least a year. Now. Oh, oh, oh. Brennan throwing up the paradigm. And I believe he may have been in the paradigm right at the very end of it. Or the pinnacle, I mean, pinnacle. Sorry. He said not the paradigm. Not the paradigm. Paradigm's where he's at now. Throwing up the pinnacle. Trying to get into his head. Oh. Now he's going back up with the pinnacle. Oh, he's slapped oh, slap in the face by Scotty Stevens. Okay. Yeah. I don't think Brian Mattel going to take that right away. No, I don't think he should. I think they just need to tag our, our lockup right now. And, and let's, yeah, let's see some wrestling. Look at Brennan. Brennan trying to, try, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to slide under him. I think he was biting his arm. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was. He didn't bite his arm. With his chest. What is this? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see the fight. I thought no, I really did. Anyway, oh wow, we're not that. Alright, so. All I can say is I hope this I think Scotty just might have pulled a muscle in his back. Because that doesn't look like a. I, I didn't see anybody fight anybody. I don't know, but somehow I can feel it for the night. Oh, I'm going to get a box. I got two more to get a toothbrush. Oh, wow. Maybe I just walked up. Just kicking the gut up. Okay. That's not a bad idea. And, oh, goodness. Yeah, that's a lot of weight for me lifting up. Scotty Steven, who has gained some weight while he was gone, he says he put on the extra weight so that he could insert his dominance more on his opponents. Um, I don't know if I believe that. I mean, it's not like he was ever going to insert his dominance in the beginning. And I doubt he'll be able to insert any of it. Even with the extra weight. What is Jay? So Jay just stepped out. Now Jay Akira is stepping out of the ring and he's stacking the ref. And there's why. So that Scotty can get the advantage. I'm sure he did some. I'm sure he cheated somehow. Listen, I, if I know Scotty Stevens, he's cheating. He's doing something to cheat. Come on now. I, I've been friends with this man a long time. I know what I know what he's capable of. That's nice. He's got a working leg. Oh wow, Jay! Wow, look at him. <laughs> now, one thing I have to say. One thing I have to say. Don't ever use my lines. Don't ever. That's, that's my trademark. And now Jay with the pin already won. And, oh wow, Brent Martel putting his hands on the ropes. This is hard. Now listen. Here's what I'm trying to get at. Um, oh yeah, there's a point I want to make. 
there's something that I've noticed about uh, since Scott E. Stevens has come back, and that is no Jayhawk. Where's Jayhawk for Legion? He was the manager of Scott E. Stevens. He was the manager of Pentecost. Look at that bridge up. Look at that bridge up. Showing his power. And that right there is why you do them neck exercises. That's why you lift them weights. That's why you get so straight and conditioning. Running marks on the wood. Oh my goodness! Loving. Vicious clothesline by Brandon Martell. I love it. That's what you got to do when you when you want to hit somebody. You want to make sure that you put as much power behind it as possible. I think that was Jay's welcome to RCW moment right there. Oh my goodness. I don't think it's what was he going to cure for RCW moments came when he was in the ring with the butcher. Oh, never mind. You know what? You're right. Kind of yeah, okay, never mind. Oh, oh, I that think he got shot the right way. Yeah, he let him work on the knees. Oh, and he paid the price. That's why, I, you know, they call it high risk for a strong reason. Yes, they do. Because it's oh, a high yeah. risk. Jay, you might want to get out of here, man. Or, uh, merciless. He's, he's looking at him like, I don't know what you're going on with this dude. And then he that him. was a bad one. That was a very bad one. You're never breaking this, dude. Oh, it's like, okay, youngster, that all you got. I'm not a big fan of this kind of stuff. Why would you let someone punch you in the face? Because and why would you? This is crazy. No, yeah. I'm not talking about Mer Merciless. Merciless is crazy. I get why he's doing it. Why is Jay Karen letting you punch him back? Watch. Watch. Boom. Boom. Well, Merciless taking advantage of it now. And my guess. I'm just, I, I'll never ever understand why people do that. Now, Jay's, you won't get me to do that. You, I'll tell you right now, you will not get me to let somebody punch me in the face. Oh my goodness. I might bring my face and debate you. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Like a. I don't know call that. Anyway. Right now, as a uh, look at that, this dude. Now, now, now I've heard Jake here has a martial arts background, That's what I was just and we are seeing it right oh, now. now. Yeah. It's night. Oh, oh, no. oh goodness. Spinning back in. What? Yep. And then he got thrown out of the ring. Oh, wow. That was, I'm not gonna lie, that was funny to see that. <laughs> Once he screamed, I'm like, oh gosh, there's a lot of momentum coming out of him. Uh, and Marcus Knight, just, just, you know what? He might be merciless, but he's still Marcus Knight inside there because he was smart enough to move to the side and use Jay Akira's momentum against him and throw him outside the ring. was pretty smart. You know? Goodness, merciless is just yeah. putting his head. Yeah, brutal. Oh, As he was squeezing, that had to be really wide. Oh my goodness, I kind of like that. I might have to steal that one. I'm not going to let it work pretty smart. Man, I mean, it's not legal, but that's why I probably Oh, uh, yeah, you probably put that. Good luck with that. What are you talking about? Why would you say that? Oh, you called up. Welcome to the RCW. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> this is I thought the butcher was the one that was, was destroying him. No, it's merciless. My goodness. So let's get back on this topic. What do you think? Where do you think Jay Hawk's been? I mean, I I have not seen Jay Hawk since since Scotty Stevens been back. I haven't heard from him. I and Jay Hawk been here for. We used to do a we used to do a podcast together for like many years. Honestly, I have no idea. Because I haven't seen him since. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Man, these two are just destroying. I mean, does he come back? As a back to the pinnacle? Does he come back and even lead him to paradise? Or find out. Right now, it's just Brent Martell with a nice suplex. My goodness. And Jay Akira, I feel bad for him right now because, you know, he hasn't had as much time to scout these guys as, well, somebody like Scott and Stevens has, and they're keeping Jay Akira in the ring. They are just... Scott, he is not getting a chance to get in there anymore. He hasn't been in there. I don't know. This match has been going on for almost 11 minutes, and I don't think I've seen Scotty in there. But oh, goodness. He's getting... Oh, wow. And a pin, too. He's in the ropes. Yeah, he's in the ropes. Wow. Jeez, um, that was a nice one. Yeah, and that's good. Cool. Uh, Smiling click and actually sort of attacking uh, right there. Yeah. But as soon as he gets his attack on, Merciless is back in there and he is ripping his hair out now, headbutting him like crazy. My goodness, man. Merciless. Oh, I, I was not here. Yeah, don't ref. The ref is not. I would get away if I was Merciless. You don't want to get disqualified. That's what I'm trying to get at. Look, he's going to try and break that arm. Oh! Oh, oh, my oh, goodness. All right, that grossed me out a little bit. Oh, I just saw wow. that elbow pop out. Yeah. And look, it's still bumping out there. Absolutely. And he's got him up. And now Merciless is going to do this job, it looks like. Oh, goodness. Wait, how, how? How is Jay at what? I don't know. I, I, I just, how? I, I don't even know how he's using that elbow. Me. I'm not going to lie. And now Jay. I don't know how his elbow is even functioning. Yes. Maybe it didn't pop out. Maybe it just hurt him. Oh my goodness. See, but I'm a merciless tap out here. I don't think you know. Did merciless tap out here? No, come off of it. Let's get, let's get real. Oh my goodness. That does not look comfortable for merciless though. Get out there! Oh my goodness. I don't know what he's got, Jay. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes, he did. Now he's up with him. Two. Oh, almost a three. Wow. I didn't expect him to kick out. Jay is really impressive. And again, I didn't expect him to be able to put in a move with his arms right after having someone stop and look what looked like his elbow had. I literally thought he broke his arms. I didn't say it. It didn't look like his elbow popped out. Unless this guy just is resilient with dislocation. But it's not dislocated now. I can see that. But it really looked like it was dislocated for a while there. Now, if this Jay Akira was smart, he'd be sliding over the other side oh, and trying goodness. to attack us. Oh, he's, well, he's out. Well, he's out of the side. One, two, and another kick out. No, no, no. Be like Scotty Stevens, a cheater. Uh, no, I mean, he actually kicked out. You saw his arms move. That's shocking. Jay Man, I saw, I saw Merciless jump up to avoid being kicked by Scotty Stevens and in the process that's what I witnessed. And he makes Jay now still dazed. Now, now he has the place in air. It's over. It's over. This could be the end. I'm an Padres. You know what I'm saying? I, I see Boondock Saints. I know what that means. Here it goes. Jay got out of it. What? Jay. Oh! Jay and he's gonna tag or go for the pin. It's a big decision. Oh yeah, he might want to go for the tag. I think he'd be a good hot tag. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm telling you right now. Oh, Pin Merciless just gets up like it's crazy. Are you serious? That is crazy. Oh, here goes Scotty. And down goes Brennan Martel. And now he hits um. 
merciless, my goodness. Yeah, I, I, I'm like getting lost in the match. I'm sorry, I got quiet for a minute. Me too. <laughs> That's like, why I'm still my words. You're doing the play-by-play -play over here. Here we go, there's a one, one two. two. Oh, wow. Kicks right, out. I thought it was over for a minute. I can't believe that he's Stevens. Yeah, there's just nice suplex right there. Now, crushing his head down. Is he going to hit his head? No, no, you use your head against his head. head but that was two hands and smashing the back of his head into the mat and then just pressing it in. That's what that was. Well, nice body slip. Oh, nice body slip. I don't know. It looked like he started slipping out of his hands before he got to it. And now it goes Jay. What is Jay about to do? Oh, wow! A frog, a frog splash. My goodness. Yeah, more like a frog splash. Oh, I know. I stole my words like always. Oh, wow. Marcus Knight breaks up the pen. And now Scotty Stevens. All right, now they need to disqualify Scotty Stevens. Oh, no, they're both outside right now. Oh, did he just spray mist in his face? More like spit mist in his face, yes. That's what I've been trying to say. Oh, I don't know how he's just disqualified. And now, oh, Brandon Martell in the face, and now... And now, he's out of it. It's over. He drops this, it's off. It's over. It's over. Oh. I'm sorry. Down goes One, Akira. Two, Down goes Akira. Three. three. It's over. Wow, that was actually a really good match. Yeah, it was a good match. I will admit. My goodness, man. I gotta give credit to Jay, though, man. He's got a lot of fun in the match. Oh, I don't give credit to him. He's the one that lost the match for Scotty Stevens. I don't give credit at all. He took the most beating, though, man. Yeah. He, he did. He the only thing I give him credit for is it looked like he got his elbow dislocated. And literally 10 seconds later, that arm was fine. That was a month ago, why that was. I don't understand how that did not hurt really bad. And somehow he was able to muscle up it. I'll tell you what, you know, uh, Rick James was once quoted as saying, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Let me be honest with you, as a professional wrestler, adrenaline. Sure and when you're, in a, when you're in that ring, I broke my spine. I didn't know I broke it, and I lifted up Shane Taylor. I've reached Shane Taylor with a broken freaking spine. And so you don't feel pain until the match is over. And then you feel it. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, but we'll see you next week for another edition of RCW Globe.